This is probably gonna be my first and maybe my last video on YouTube. And I really, really, really want to talk about skincare. It's something that I personally struggled with for the past year, year and a half. And as of late, like as of the past probably like four or five months, I've finally come to a place where I'm, I'm seeing results and there's actual progress being made. But that did not, that did not come easily at all. I invested so much time and money into some of these products and being consistent was a complete game changer. So if you're at a place where you have cystic acne and you wake up in the morning and you're automatically feeling like your self-esteem is is not where it should be and your skin is the ultimate factor in, in changing that, then just keep watching because honestly some of these tips I wish someone would have told me in the beginning of my journey. So first thing I'm going to talk about is birth control. I know a lot of people say that when they're on birth control they see a lot of um, a lot of changes in their skin and obviously there's a lot of like flux in hormones and it just flux with your mood it it does influence a lot the first thing I would talk to or first person I would talk to about skincare is your prescriber like whoever prescribed the birth control to you get in touch with how much androgen is found in them estrogen what are some common side effects um, is it the cause of your acne? Because I definitely, right after I stopped mine, within the first three weeks, I saw a difference in my skin. And the bumps started clearing. Actually, let me let me put a picture right here for you guys so you know, so you see where how bad it got. Because when I say I had really, really bad acne, it's not just blackheads, whiteheads, things that are very topical. These are hormonal, ingrained, not just pores, but acne. Um, I would talk to your doctor about the prescription that you have because I definitely saw a very, very clear change before I, um, after I switched to mine. Actually, I didn't just switch, I got off completely. Um, okay, so second tip is this cleanser. This is called Panoxyl. I think it retails for about like $10, $15 on Amazon, but literally you can see this is, I've literally, I've treated it like it's toothpaste because it's completely empty. Both of them are. I've rolled up all of, as much as I could. And this is, these two are probably for the last like five, six months. I use it on the daily. I use it during the shower. I use it after I get home. And if, I, if my skin's feeling kind of inflamed, I've noticed that it definitely reduces blemishes that I have. It prevents new, um, new acne from forming. And honestly, it feels like it's overnight. It feels like the benzoyl peroxide within this is definitely very concentrated. So I would be sure if you have sensitive skin, maybe like blotch test it. Is that what it's called? I don't really know. But maybe like on your neck somewhere or maybe like on the side of your cheek if you feel like it might be too strong for you. I have sensitive skin and for me this is perfect. It's not, even though it is really strong, it didn't, um, it didn't make me feel like I was putting on a lot of product on my skin and even just like a little bit maybe just like this much takes is in more than enough for your skin the third thing that I want to talk about is this cleanser I got this on Ipsy probably like two months ago as you can see it's the essential essential C cleanser and although it's a really small amount a little bit goes a long way I use it as a makeup remover I use it as um, something to wash my face in the morning if I feel like a bit oily after I wake up. This has also significantly changed my skin for the better. Vitamin C in general is extremely good for your skin because it gives you that kind of like, actually I think I used it like an hour ago, that kind of dewy, dewy texture in your skin. And I'm not really sure how much this retails for, but even if you can get a sample somewhere, um, or maybe other cleansers within the brand. This one is the um, Essential C from Murad, Murad, and I definitely recommend it. It says it's an environmental shield too, and you can feel it. Like as soon as you put it on, it feels very like gel-like and not heavy at all, and it leaves your skin feeling super fresh after. Um, I'm definitely running through this a bit fast. <laughs> 
but if you guys have any questions like please please ask me below i feel like i definitely have experience that i can share and talk about because this the skin that i have now is only is only consistency it did not come to me easily it did not i was never born born just blessed having really good skin so now I hope, I hope I can help at least like one person out there because I remember there were certain mornings that I would not leave my house without wearing foundation or concealer or trying to find anything to get rid of the bumpiness, to get rid of the redness. And it was such a frustrating process. Um, okay, so anyway, tip number four. We're gonna get to moisturizers and basically serums that I've been using which are which I have found to be really really helpful this is the ordinary hyaluronic acid vitamin B yo where's the camera Why is it all right well I tried <laughs> this uh, this is like half empty right now because I, I use this every single day after I shower just so I it could resonate resonate What's that word? Settle? Sure. So it can settle on my skin and it feels really, really smooth. I know vitamin G, vitamin, I know this is, I don't know how people do this in like one take. Cause I was talking way too fast in like the other take. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep going. Hopefully this is easier to follow. I personally don't think that the niacinamide helped as much as the, um, as the hyaluronic acid that I use because the niacinamide, I, it didn't really work as much as I wanted to. If you use it on its own and you pair it with a moisturizer, it does significantly reduce um, inflammation, but it doesn't leave me feeling hydrated. It doesn't, um, it doesn't reduce redness. It's just kind of, I don't know, I feel like people overhype it sometimes. So if you're looking for other ordinary products to invest in, I would definitely say that the Hyaluronic, Hyaluronic, you know what I mean, you understand. And then put like a certain, a really small amount of lotion in your palm and you mix this, this toner. This is the toner that I've used for the past two months. It's Youth to the People Kombucha 11% AHA Exfoliation Power Toner. This is an extremely strong toner. You can tell as soon as you pour it, there's like a very distinct smell. And even using it once or twice a week is ample. Like you're, you're all set. If you mix it in with your moisturizer, I think it's made a very big difference in um, getting rid of acne scarring. I'm wearing foundation right now, so you can't see it as much, but I can put in a picture right here of what I look like without foundation so you see. Um, there's definitely hyperpigmentation. There's a lot of dark scars that I have, but this toner has helped me so, so, so much in, in just visibly reducing that. So I, I recommend it. If you are looking for another, a lighter toner that I have worked my way up from, it's called Pixie Glow Tonic. Glow Tonic. 5% glycolic acid exfoliating toner. So this one, I would never, never use toners or never use exfoliating serums before you go outside because the sun will definitely um, do damage. It will make your skin feel very blotchy, very red. I would not recommend doing these during the day. Do it after you shower, mix it with a moisturizer so it's extra hydrating, extra nourishing. So you're getting the maximum benefit from it. This is a lighter toner, it's the glycolic acid, and this is the stronger one, the 11%. So I would say if you're looking for something lighter, this is the way to go. It smells super good, very light, and works with sensitive skin, which I have. And this one is for serious exfoliating, 11%. I got this from Ipsy a few months ago, definitely game changer. Every, every product I have right now is, I'm speaking from experience, this isn't just like something that like I'm branded or like something sponsored, I don't know. But these are products that have all worked for me and something that's making me feel more comfortable with my skin. So I hope it, I hope it helps you guys too. 
the last thing that I'm going to talk about for this video is your vitamin B intake. So this for me was a very, very big problem because I am lactose intolerant. So I don't have a lot of dairy, meat, cheese, um, meat. I probably have like once every two, three weeks. My family and I mostly eat like fish, veggies, um, because of a, a multiple reasons. So I realized that my vitamin B deficiency was, first it was low already, but recently during quarantine they got super, super low to the point where like I would feel extremely fatigued. If I didn't take it, I wouldn't be able to sleep sometimes and it was just causing a lot of like day-to-day -day problems. So this is the Nature Made Super B Complex. This has, oh it has vitamin C, it has vitamin C vitamin B6, B12, calcium, calcium I'm definitely lacking, and thiamine, like a, a bunch of very, very good nutrients that I would recommend. It helps support the immune system, you know, especially now, like I feel like we're all getting sick. I don't know if you guys feel this too, but sometimes I just, I'm just tired, like just throughout the day for no reason. Like I, I'm eating good, I'm taking my vitamins, but I still feel tired. And it's mostly just because we're going through a time that's draining. So, this is the last tip that I have for you guys. Making sure that your vitamin B intake is where it should be, or sometimes being like having it be a little higher is a bad thing. So, yeah, I definitely would look into that. So I'm gonna outline the five tips one more time, just so you guys have like a little, you know, like on Reddit how it's too long to do that stuff. I'm gonna put in like a little list right here, so you guys can remember it. Maybe like take a screenshot and be a bit more aware of the changes that you're making. I have no idea how I'm gonna edit this, but I hope these tips helped you guys, maybe even a little bit, because I know that cystic acne, like I said in the beginning, like your self-esteem is significantly affected with your skin and I know for me um, if I had somebody tell me like a mentor or somebody mention these products or things that I could be making choices I could be making differently daily that I wish I wish I would have known so I'm gonna make a little like tip thing here it's like we're all five are list so let me get more space hold over right here so you guys can maybe like take a screenshot just so you have like memory of what to do. But yeah, just leave any likes, comments below if you resonated with it. If you did, it's completely fine. Like girl, girl, you go. Like you probably have good skin. I'm proud of you. I wish I was you. But if you did, if you use any tips, then let me know. Bye guys.